Werger versus Showers is being argued before the Supreme Court. The issue in the case is whether Federal Rule of Evidence 606B prohibits a party moving for a new trial from introducing evidence that a juror lied during voir dire as a basis for a new trial motion under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 59. This case arose out of a mo motor vehicle accident. Um, Gregory Warger was struck by Randy Showers, who was driving a truck at the time. Um, Warger then sued for negligence. Showers prevailed, and Warger raised as a claim for uh, a new trial motion that the jury foreperson in this case, Regina Whipple, had lied during voir dire in claiming that she could be fair. According to another juror, Stacy Titus, who submitted an affidavit, Miss Whipple raised during jury deliberations her own daughter's life experiences and described to the jury how her own daughter had been involved in a car accident. According to Titus, Whipple said that if her daughter had been successfully sued, that it would have, quote, ruined her life. Federal Rule of Evidence 606B tries to strike a balance between um, re-litigating jury verdicts after the fact, but also allowing in evidence of wholly improper juror misconduct where that occurs in egregious cases. Warger makes three primary arguments. First of all, he claims that this case is not governed at all by Rule 606B. He claims that uh, he is not um, seeking to challenge the validity of the verdict, to use the specific uh, term of Rule 606B. Uh, he claims instead that he is challenging the integrity of the voir dire process and that therefore this case is governed by the Supreme Court's precedent in McDonough Power versus Greenwood. Uh, secondly, he claims that even if Federal Rule of Evidence 606B does govern this case, that it falls within one of the exceptions to 606B. Finally, Warger claims that prohibiting the introduction of the uh, other uh, jurors affidavit in this case alleging misconduct by the juror foreperson impinges his right to a fair trial. This case could have significant policy implications and the respondent and the government in this case um, argue that Warger seeks an exception that would swallow the rule of 606B. Um, they warn that there will be endless relitigation of jury verdicts, that there will be constant second guessing of those uh, jury verdicts, and that there will be harassment of jurors. Uh, Warger has an uphill battle in this fight, and as ably represented as he is uh, by Canon Chan McGann of Williams and Connolly, uh, this is a challenging argument for him to make. Um, there is no federal case, reported case, in which um, uh, similar facts and arguments have been accepted by courts other than the Ninth Circuit.